Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the workshop on advanced course on structural analysis and design of a school building using ETAPS 2019. Now this is the course content what we are going to study in this course. This is a school building. This is 3D that is generated from the ETAPS model. Now the course feature. First we will uh, look at the introduction to the software introduction to ETF 2019 introduction to indian codes as well as introduction to nepal building code either this is the latest revision revised code and bc 105 is to 2020 now first let us look at the file we are going to practice here is autocad file we are opening the architectural plan of the autocad file of the school building that we are going to model in this course <coughs> We'll model this school building in ETAPS. This is ground floor plan. This is first floor plan. This is second floor plan and this is top floor plan. As well as this is the section of the building. We'll model this building in ETAPS. Mm. Yes, we have already modeled in ETAPS. I will open the file now. This is the project that we are going to study in this course. This is the real project here you can see uh, we will know how to model the beam, how to model the secondary beam and how to apply the releases in the secondary beam. We will also learn that in this course. I will show you in detail 3D. This is the course that we are going to study. We will learn this complete project in this course. Here you can see we have modeled the staircase as well as the secondary beam, beam, column and everything that is required for the projects. And we will learn this everything in detail. Now this is introduction to software. We will define the material section properties and uh, we will learn, learn to read the architectural drawing learn to input the right data modeling of beam column floor slab cantilever slab staircase cellulose we will learn to model the shear well in this course we will assign the load we will assign the date and life loads this we have developed in house spreadsheet for the load application here you can see load um, load calculation sheet you will learn how to apply the wall load including of the plaster load as well as the floor load calculation sheet it includes the cement pawning tile as well as the marble imports load is that life loads on the building water tank load is that in the upper portion of the slab we put the water tank on the upper story that load is also considered here as well as the step load on the staircase on the staircase we have to apply the loads of the steps this is for the first flight second flight third flight SLS this is for the one seismic load by giving the parameters of the height we can derive the time period this we apply here also we will learn to design by the response spectrum analysis also in this course for static response initial scale factor and final scale factor we will all discuss this in this course also we will learn how to assign the seismic load according to nepal building code 105 is to 2020 this is the latest code we will also learn this we have also developed the in-house spreadsheet for this course what value to be inputted in the actual year 
this is for the time period according to latest NBC 105 is to 2020 this is the code basic of uh, basic theoretical portion we learn uh, where what value we have to input what we have to do this is the values for the design and base share calculation we have developed the spreadsheet also we will learn about this and we will also learn how to develop this kind of spreadsheet for the engineering calculations also we will learn how to distribute the base share uh, distribution of the seismic force according to the Indian, according to the Nepal building code 105 is to 2020 Ascending diagram for mesh, we will learn this in ETFs. Response spectrum analysis we will do, do and scaling of the base shear. Now we will have to check the design. Is that we have to check the following parameters in the ETFs? Is that we will check the longitudinal reinforcement, PMM interaction ratio, maximum minimum percentage of steel, modal participation mass ratio, modal period and frequencies, story drift, displacement, torsional irregularity mass irregularity p delta effect and soft story check we have also developed the excel sheet for this here in this design checks we have the excel sheet for the design checks we we'll learn about this and optimization of the design data we have to optimize the design since uh, we have to design also for the economy we have to optimize the given result that we we'll learn in this course and next is design of the structural members we will learn how to design the isolated combined and strap putting in design files we will learn how to design the isolated footing in effects not only from the axial load from also the moment criteria we will learn how to design the isolated footing in ETFs no isolated footing from the ETFs result in excel sheet next is combined footing we will learn how to design the combined footing also by considering the Sorry. by considering the moment criteria as well as the axial load from the column we will learn how to design the combined footing similarly we will learn how to design how to design raft footing we will learn how to design the raft footing Also, we will learn how to design of the shear wall. That also we have de developed the Excel sheet for the design of the shear wall from the ETFs result. Also, in the footing portion, we will also learn how to design the strap beam. We have developed the in-house sp spreadsheet for the design of the strap beam. The design of this strap beam. We will learn how to design the strap beam with theoretical concept also. Very simple spreadsheet for the design. We, we can look from here also by shortcut if anything failure we will go and correct there this is the design of this strap beam similarly we will learn how to design of the column we will learn how to design of the column design of the beam is that we put this in the structural report beam design of the slab we learn how to design of the slab to a slab we have this is automated axial sheet we learn how to design of the slab by the two methods we learn how to design of the slab We will also learn how to design the open wheel staircase. This is the automated sheet for the design of the staircase. For every flight, we will learn how to design it. Also, this is the municipal checklist. We will learn how to put the EBPS format. This is the municipal checklist for the EBPS format. We will we'll learn how to develop this kind of format is to give the input for this format now we will learn how to prepare the detailing from the design data also we will prepare the structural report for the municipality and this is the EBPS entry for the municipality hope you understand what topics will be covered in this course this is a very vast course and very advanced course in ETAPS thank you